we cut down. Uh, uh, and that was cool because there was a lot of natives that were involved with that struggle. Uh, yeah, so obviously there's been gardening here in the park. I mean, Terry Compost, she's, she's definitely, <laughs> you know. So, I mean, that's often where I, you know, I'll come. She used to come here every Sunday rarely, so if I want to go hang out with Terry, I'd watch her garden. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's the urban gardening thing. It's, I think it's important because I, th I do think the thing is gonna. I think things are going down. <laughs> I don't know what disaster or what sort of, but I feel like something or another, or just a basic economic collapse. Uh, you know, I mean, or I mean, they keep finding new oil reserves. You know, but eventually the oil is gonna run out, and they won't be able to bring in the food. I mean, so I think people should be prepared for that. You know, reclaiming the soil because a lot of it's pretty toxic. Uh, but I like I like seeing that there is an urban gardening movement. I think it's important, uh, you know, and I think it needs to go and catch on a bigger way. I mean, it's uh, I mean, I because of my other activism, I don't, I don't, I don't get as involved as I like. Even though I mean, I do mental health stuff, and I think it's probably one of the most. <laughs> Uh, it's both physically healthy because you're eating better food. Uh, I think that's the situation for a lot of poor people is they're not, they don't have access to, to, to good food. You know, you go to the convenience store. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit of, on the overweight side, so I remember one time I was, uh, you know, periodically, okay, I'm going to do something about it. <laughs> so I remember seeing this roll of cereals all with sugar, a whole roll. <laughs> it's like, isn't there one, sh one box of cereal here that doesn't have a lot of artificial sugar in it? Or, uh, you know, because that's what they sell you. I mean, now they're starting to be, like, in the West Oakland, they're starting to be, like, you know, uh, Mandela Foods. And yeah, that whole thing, and the you spiral know, garden, and, and the and truck that goes around with the urban, you know, with the produce. So that's good because that's a whole area that doesn't, it didn't have access, you know. And I think that's, uh, I think for poor people, a poor diet is one of the issues, you know, why <laughs> that people need to deal with, you know, because people, the health disparities, like people get obese, they get blood. You know, high blood pressure, they get diabetes, all sorts of things, you know. Uh, I think the only reason I don't is because I walk around. <laughs> but, I'm, you know, I've seen too many people get those sort of things. Uh, of course, a lot of the psych drugs that people <laughs> take probably don't help. They've been proven not to help with some of those conditions, you know. They actually make them worse. Uh, yeah. I mean, there was a time we were trying to do our... We were trying to get a bar system going on because we were figuring our... Is a way to part part of the idea was also you know get poor people where they didn't have land but maybe they could help work land and ex do exchange sort of stuff and because we also knew that you know it's healthier for people and also both physically and mentally to to, to get your hands dirty <laughs> get your hands in the earth it's like breaks through the alienation you know I mean that's I mean, that's one of the things I agree with Karl Marx like we're all living in a really alienated society where you know. I mean, people like eat meat. The people eat meat. I mean, I grew up on a farm, so I, you know, I saw animals getting killed. Uh, but you know, when you go to the supermarket and it's all wrapped there, and you don't see that it was actual animal that <laughs> you know what the you know yeah, we're what they're doing. To the what process. they're doing. You know, if people really got to see what they do to those animals. You know, like when they pin them up, and, or you know, or just what happens to most of the food. I mean, I, you know, a lot of the food stuff that we have is stuff that didn't exist in food until after the World War II, you know, all the synthetic stuff. And heck, people's bodies aren't meant for that, it, you know, it's not, it can't be healthy, and I think, uh, Your meaning is the hybridization of, yeah. of genetic food? Well, just all the chemicals, and now, of course, you get the, the biotech stuff, you know, where they're actually, like, re, re, which I think is really dangerous when they start messing with that, you know, because, you know, that's where, uh, I think, you know, it's, well, there are serious things going on. Like, you know, why the bee's not doing so well, you know. Some of it, that's definitely... It's know. probably satellite signals. Yeah, it's and, probably stuff that we're doing to the environment. That's Well, that's one of the theories is that, you know, the, the electrical signals are... Because they have a sensitive way of, like, figuring out where they're at, and it's, it's messing them up on that. But, you know, uh, I mean, one of the... You know, I forget one. There was one like one of the, one of those biotech vegetables had a, a built-in pesticide that really messes with a lot of the, the little 
the little insects, you know, because they're, you know, it's poison for them. Uh, you know. I don't think it's too good for us either. Probably isn't. Uh, they just, uh, um, yeah, we're just not, things are out of whack. <laughs> and I think urban agriculture is one way for people to get things a little, get them well back, because we can't, we can't tell everybody that to go and move in the country when everything, because <laughs> that'll wipe out the countryside, the nature. So I think we, we really need to do, unless we want to have a mass die off. I mean, I know. Which we may, <laughs> we may soon right, find Lear, out about that one, yeah. Uh, Leah Keith, she, she's talking about, you know. But she wrote this book, The Vegetarian Myth. She wants to go, she feels civilization was the big mistake, you know. <laughs> Even urban agriculture. Even agriculture on a massive thing was a, it was a big mistake. Uh, you know, I think she's on to something. I think people were probably happier back when they didn't have to work so hard and for all these useless things that they don't really need. Uh, yeah. And for me, it's, I mean, my, my religious roots are paganism, you know, and part of what I'm coming back to is to be really a pagan, you're supposed to be connected to nature. <laughs> and I don't really feel like I'm really as connected to nature as I really would like to be. So, uh, yeah. But I feel like when I see my friends like growing gardens, and I can at least, I feel like it brings me closer. <laughs> I mean, you know. Uh, so I, I feel like the more, the more, I, I just think it's good for us in all sorts of ways. I don't know if you've got any specific questions. No, that's, that's really great. Actually, thank you, um, Michael Deal, for uh, talking with me and sharing some of your political uh, history with us and some of your insights. That, that, that's really great. Thank you.